Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this TSW News Update. Normally for a reaction, we record our audio on a separate track, but for some apparent reason, Greg had forgot to push the record button on his microphone. So if he sounds like he's in a restroom, I assure you he is not. He is definitely wearing pants. Ah, magic in the movies. Get better and better. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another reaction here at Three Shades of Whatever. Hey, Greg. What's up? After all that Tom said that he doesn't want to diss people, I'm not sure that he's going to have a choice not to. Because it looks like Mr. Lethal has something to say about Mr. MacDonald. Again. What, MacDonald is lethal? Well, well, in God mode, if you recall, Tom had said something along the lines of, after the last person he dissed, homie got divorced and got torched, and he felt bad, all this shit and whatever. Well, I don't think Mac took too kindly to those words. Is this the man? Because he came out with a new song. Is this the man? This is the Mac. This is Mac Lethal. This is who was torched? He came out with his own track. This is who was torched? Yes, yes. I, I, I never heard them, so I can't say one way or the other. I was just going by Tom's word on it. But I am. I don't know, man. The word around is this, this, this wasn't... Uh, this was no bullshit diss that, that Mac really went at him here. Yeah, I I don't know how the... Like you said, we don't know the original diss. So... I don't. I don't know if Tom was... I don't know what happened. All I know is right now, <laughs> look at the screen. What's the first... You see the first line, what it says? I was minding my own oh, business. Oh, no. So this was spawned so, by yeah, God he, Mode. Okay. Yeah. Uh, That's what I'm figuring. I mean, why else would he come out with it? After we just did God Mode and I said that was about, fuck, that was about Mac, bro. Well, didn't Tom then McDonald drops, said his life got all messed up? Can't pay his bills? Supposedly, so, yeah. Okay. It's, it's, no, he about no, that uh, he got divorced and homie got torched and all that kind of shit. So I thought he I thought it was like worse than that. But yeah, I, I can't remember exactly what he it said. It might have been. It might have been. I can't remember the exact words. I'll put the clip right here. The last time I battled the man that I trampled lost his career and then had a divorce. That wasn't fair. Homie got torched. Well, How's how is Mac Lethal doing? Does he have a big following? Does he make money? Do we know anything about? I don't know. Full transparency. Yeah. I want to say something. People might not notice about me, but I am a metalhead. I am a rock and roll head. I like <laughs> rap. Um, I got into breaking yeah. rap down with this channel. Actually, I like all music, but for a lot of years, I was purely like a metal musician. Now I pretty much like everything. However. Mm. Um, you can consider me kind of a metalhead. He's, he's still learning. So he's green when it comes to the uh, to the to the to the rap scene, but he's learning and he's coming along. Yeah, because people be talking shit. I don't notice. I don't. Yeah, yeah, I don't, mother. I don't. Anyway. Yeah, but yeah, I now the hell with those idiots. The, so, look, the people that talk shit about Greg in the comments about not knowing about rap aren't our subs. So here's the deal. That's my opinion. I don't believe any one of our subs is talking shit about my boy. The reason I'd be pissed if they the were. The reason why I prefaced with that is because I don't know who Mac Lethal is. And and the reason why is because, again, I don't know a lot of rappers. I learn about rappers on yeah. this channel more than I do in actual life. If you look through my pay yeah. playlist, very few rappers. So, Mac Lethal, my question about Mac Lethal, let's pretend to be a layman or, you know, is uh, from a layman's perspective is, does he do well? Because I'm trying to cross-reference what Tom said to the reality of Mac Lethal. Because it sounded like Tom said he basically ruined his career. Is it? Did he not say that? Well, I, I mean, Mac did. Mac fell off for a few years. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot. To be honest, I forgot about him until Tom mentioned him in God Mode. Not knocking Mac because I used to be kind of a fan. Like I, I saw his his uh alphabet. What was it? Alphabet rhyme or some shit? He did an alphabet rap. It was fucking amazing, dude. How he pulled that off and the speed of yeah. it and the way he's able to pronounce the words so clearly and all that shit. He does really well. Lethal, literally, literal, little limerick that be littler than a leprechaun. A minute shadow manifesting melancholy mayhem, making a metamorphosis until a mechanized like megaton. And then I would see all of his little silly videos of him rapping about doing nothing like making pancakes and shit. Yeah. It's funny. His shit, he, he had a decent following. He was a decent y YouTube rapper, as far as I know. I don't know if he has any like, his, his any like albums cut or anything like that. I don't know that far, but I know that he had a decent following on YouTube. Well, then, um, so, but, uh, we don't, again, well, look, how about this? In I'll the say comments, this much. did his... Let me say this real quick, real quick. He's big enough for Tom to respond 
or go at. I don't know who went at who first. If in the comments, could you please let me know? Because I don't really, I don't know shit about the diss. I know they they had beef and they went at each other. I don't, I didn't know who won, who lost. I mean, the way Tom made it sound, he squashed them. But I mean, I don't know. Again, here we are. Mac Lethal's back. I did what you call a quick Google and check. Okay, and what'd you find? I found that Tom McDonald wrote a song called Mac Lethal Sucks. Hmm. But was that first? We don't know. Like, who went, who, did he go at Mac first or did Mac go? Well, the bottom you know line, also, yeah, that question. Let who me know went the comments, out, Who went at who first? Who won? That's the first question. And the second question is what Tom said true in his diss. Did he ruin his career? Yes. Those are the two questions that I yeah. have. That, that would. Going into this, I would be curious about that, but I'm not, you know, we'll let the people tell us. Power to the people, Sounds man. Good to me. Power to the people. <laughs> yeah, let them know. Let us know in the comments section who went at who. I don't know, I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to fight. Oh, dude, that was so cringy. I'm not getting into it. That was so bad. First of all, she's like, "Are we ready to take our country back? Aren't you guys at, like in power?" I don't. I don't, I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know anymore, dude. None Cringe. of it matters. Cringy coming none out there twerking and shit. It, what the none, fuck? Reality doesn't matter, sir. It's all cheap fakes. <laughs> Let's get into what uh, Mr. Lethal is saying about Mr. McDonald. Let's be clear about one thing: you started it. You sneak dissing pussy. <laughs> oh. He might have answered a question. I thought it was funny too. We already squashed this dude. What are you doing? Here's a backstory. A couple years ago, Tom McDonald got his feelings hurt and made a track towards me. Tried to diss me in a rapping war. Tried to bait me into going back and forth, but I really didn't have the passion for it. So I made one song and I had to ignore it. I don't want to sound rude. I just think he's mad corny. I didn't want to give it energy. A transphobic, homophobic, culture vulture rapping about white supremacy isn't worthy of facing me lyrically. But I'm getting tired of watching this dude embarrass hip hop's history. And the other day he dropped a new song and for some reason he was kissing me fine oh, dude, this, wow. well i'll tell you right off the bat wow. again i'm gonna give you the layman's perspective the guy who's not a rap head the metal head although i like old styles music uh -huh. that was pretty good i disagree i good. disagree though i do not think tom mcdonald raps about white supremacy and shit like that i just don't I do I not think so that. either. I think that's a bullshit uh, generalization that's been given to Tom that yeah. I don't think he deserves. It's kind it. of the low hanging fruit for anybody who's going to, if they're going to have a battle, that's like the low hanging fruit for anybody to go after. Oh, yeah. you're a white supremacist. Easy bars to grab a hold uh, of. Anybody yeah. who sides with right wing stuff is just a white supremacist. That is what it is. I know. I hate so, that. I hate that. So and you know what? You got a problem with but a bitch in the, the comments. Same time, I don't give a fuck anymore. Sorry. At the same time, bleep me out. He's, he's hitting hard. And he's doing it pretty well. He did it well. Very clear. Yes. Very clear. My man has always been a good rapper, bro. I'm not going to knock on to uh, on Mac Lethal like that. He could spit. And you know, we were asking all these questions, and all of a sudden, boom. I think we I think he answered. He answered. It almost like we... Tom went after him first. Yeah, it's, it's, we were prophesizing. I feel like a dreamer. <laughs> I, I feel like a Targaryen dreamer, sir. Yeah. Okay, that works. I like that. Yes. A Targaryen dreamer. That's a thing, by the way. Of dragons and such? No, it's a thing. Okay. There's t people, there's Targaryens who have dreams about the future. Oh, okay, then, yeah. That's I had a dream. what you did. I had a dream. Let's hear some more. I'm of House Stark. I'm a busted. Okay, but you don't have to call yourself that, though. The day he dropped a new song and for some reason he was kissing me. Fine, fight contract sign. Normally I wouldn't pay this any mind, but you made a nine minute song about your personal life. Why the fuck you mention mine? I've been minding my business and buying some property. Why are you dissing me? Why you take shots at me? Man, are you buying prescriptions again? Is it lines that you're sniffing? It's gotta be. Fuck it. Ding ding, let's begin. You got weak skin. We followed each other on IG. We DM'd, we even agreed that we would be friends. Thomas, we already squashed it. Last time I took the high road. This time I'm getting tired. Toxic. First off, your music sucks. You're goofy as fuck. Your beats are trash. I bet a million dollars. <laughs> I'm not trying. I'm not laughing at Tom, bro. I'm a Tom fan. But that shit was funny. That shit was funny. I'm sorry. That was funny. I mean, it is. It, it's funny. Like he's he's presenting it's it funny. funny. I, I mean, I'm not. That's all I'm, I'm saying. I'm not LOLing. LOL. I'm not agreeing with you. I'm not no, like, that, that made me laugh, dude. I'm sorry. But I mean, it's, that was a little funny. I agree that it's good. Um, he's getting yeah. his point across. It's pretty simple. That's the part 
that's like, yeah, dude, he's throwing punches. And these ain't like just, he's not just lobbing shit at him. He's he's going for the throat. He's coming at the, he's saying, man, you might be doing drugs again. Damn, bro. Yeah, that was, I mean, he said it's got to be. And look, God, I can damn. see, look, I can see, again, so we talked about the low-hanging fruit with the whole right-wing, white supremacy, bullshit, nonsense. Mm-hmm. I could also see the second thing being like calling him corny because his hair, sure. his tattoos. That's why it's funny it, because that's what people have said about him a lot, even though I don't personally agree. Again, I'm a Tom fan. I like his message. I think that he's doing right, even though people bitch and say this kind of stuff about him. I don't agree with this about him. I'm just saying this was pretty well done. It's not too bad. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to, from an artist perspective, I'm trying to look at it objectively. And I agree with that's you, That's all. Sir. I agree. Okay. Last time I took the high road. This time I'm getting toxic. First off, your music sucks. You're goofy as fuck. Your beats are that trash. Part. I bet a goofy million dollars that's cash me. that I could easily beat your ass. Your girlfriend is a skeezer with diseases. She got fleas and crabs. She used to go to Russell Simmons' house and eat his ass. No Barack. I gotta say something about that. Okay. You want me to be honest about when it comes to rap rap? I personally think that Nova would wash Mac Lethal and Tom. That girl got bars and spits, bro. I she's different when it comes to rap, rap. But that was fucked up. I I don't know why you kind of got to don't attack his girl and call her a skeezer, man. That's kind of fucked. I'm gonna have to go with an upside down mic with this one. <laughs> um. Deserves a backwards lap. I need to figure out a way to start doing laps with this way of recording. He just hit him with some... I'm going to figure it out. He hit him with some personal bars. And here's my question. That was hard, bro. I, I'm not into the personal bars. I don't like bringing in, like, you know, innocent, like, bystanders. Girlfriends oh, no, and shit. No, 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 I don't know much about her. You, I just, listen. She can spit, you, dude. She's got the, fucking rap game. The fact that she does spit, I'm today, right now, years old, finding that out. You just told me. So I don't know how innocent she is or if she came at anybody, but damn, man, why are you going after the girl? And wait a second. Is it true? Does she eat Russell Simmons' ass? I wonder. Now, if she does, does she do it with jelly or syrup? I prefer syrup. It, it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't true, but if that shit's true, kind of stings a little bit. A little bit. That's that's a that's a rib shot there, sir. That's a rib shot. Yeah. He's not playing though. I I didn't I didn't see now. Look, I will say this about the goofy comment. To be honest, Mac Lethal's more of the goofy rapper. Okay. Like that's like his shtick. You know what yeah. I mean? He's kind of goofball. You know what I mean? But uh, so like calling Tom that, I don't see Tom as goofy at all. You know what I mean? I I think it's the I, I, he's got his own way, his own look. He, he does. Yeah, you know I, I mean? think it's like Tom's like the way he poses in his videos. It's very pretentious and serious looking. He's got the leather coat and the long hair. Okay, like, I think like I like he'll be he'll be he'll be sitting on top of something and looking down like it like it the looks, crib looking down in on the system. But you know what? But here's my <laughs> thing though. I'm stating that to be not biased because I'm a huge Tom fan. I can see why people would think it's corny. I personally like it because it's, I can. Yeah, I agree. I personally that. like it because it's different, and I I like it. I'm also into doing whatever you want to do. What makes you happy? So yeah, I'm with you, dude. I, I am a Tom fan. I do dig what he does. I can see some of it coming across across to goofy to people that are into it. Yeah, yeah, I know. I got I got Biden mouth all of a sudden. President Trump. Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Oh shit. All right, let's hear some more. <laughs> Music sucks, you're goofy as fuck, your beats are trash. I bet a million dollars cash that I could easily beat your ass. Real quick on that on that note, I I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. Well who cares? I do not care. No, I I agree with that. Who I, cares? I, but I'm I, from a fighter's perspective, my friend, I'm gonna say Good luck, Mac. I mean, dude, Tom is way bigger than Mac, bro. Size does matter, way but bigger. it's one of those things where it's like, why are you bringing up who could beat who's? At? I don't. Who cares? Yeah, that means nothing. You, he, it, it, he can. Yeah, it's a rap battle. We're not talking about fighting. Even though, well, you know what? I will say this though, Greg. You can't say who cares. You see, now you're being a fucking hypocrite because on the other video, when Tom's God mode, what did you say? You said I don't want to see fucking rappers uh, rap, have rap beef anymore. I want to see them put on the gloves and get in the ring. That's what you well, said. Well, I, I think you can't say that you don't want them to fight. Flashback. Fuck all that dissing shit. 
If people want to come at each other's necks, I want to see them put on some boxing gloves and I want to hear that bell. Ding, ding. That's what I want to see. Yeah. End of flashback. Well, I'm not, I, uh, good point. I don't like, <laughs> my point was I don't understand beefs in general. No, it's, I get It's music, I, I get you're you. supposed to make music, you're not supposed to make beefs. So I said, so. But you, you, you said, know, so you said, put the gloves yeah, on. Yeah, was I, was I. So Mac heard you. Mac said, you know what? I'll put them on. Let's go, Tom. And then he would die. Was I speaking in jest? Wasn't Tom like, wasn't Tom like a, uh, didn't he do some like wrestling, like WWE yeah, style wrestling mean, back in the day? None. No, but he's still athletic is what I'm saying. Here's the thing. If when two people who don't train about fighting and, yeah. they, and they get into a fight, it, it's always ugly shit. I don't, I don't. I don't care if two people <laughs> who can't fight fight. Yeah. It's 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 a lucky. I, I, okay. It's just a lucky thing. You just both get into a fight. I, I love how people like yeah. never train, never do anything. It's like yeah. I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> I wanna beat your ass. What exactly are you gonna do to beat your ass? I'm gonna punch you in the face. It's like do you, it's like okay. You know what I mean? I don't care about two sloppy then individuals what? off the couch fighting. What happens when I start hitting you back? You know what I mean? Oh, you punched me. You think you're gonna cream me with one punch? Because I'm promising you it's not gonna work. And you know what else? And people then people who usually know how to whoop some ass, don't be talking about whooping ass. 100%. So my assumption is, is Mac Lethal, and nothing against Mac Lethal, my assumption is the fact that he's talking about beating somebody to the ass probably means he'd be sitting on the chair not doing shit. Probably not training. Probably don't know shit. So I'm being a, I'm being a hog family fanboy right now. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you are a little bit, sir. A little bit. Last time I took the high road. This time I'm getting toxic. First off, your music sucks, you're goofy as fuck, your beats are trash I bet a million dollars cash that I could easily beat your ass Your girlfriend is a skeezer with diseases, she got fleas and crabs She used to go to Russell Simmons' house and eat his ass Nova Rockefeller <laughs> Known for Rockefeller, she was a groupie over at Def Jam and a hoe at Rockefeller You nerdy cuck, I wouldn't touch that dirty slut for 30 bucks You're not even in the top 10 rappers, your girl is fucked Oh my god She's vaginally infected I'll get back to her in a second First I'm smashing you on this record I'll punch you so hard you'll see three of me You'll say hi Dave Hi Dave Hi Dave Half your fucking fan base wishes they could buy slaves I donate my money to veterans Okay, what you want a peppermint? Don't complain about it, just do it Quit patting yourself on the back for the camera lens You're just Doja Cat for Nazis A feminine racist on every beat They call you an anti-woke rapper Cause your music puts everybody to sleep Fuck everything that your lame ass do If Dave Matthews had That's <laughs> right it's good, bro. That way, that's probably the only way you're going to joke about woke stuff and make me laugh. Because I, yeah, I can't stay, stand woke nonsense, but that was a good one. Me, you know, everybody who watches this channel knows how we feel about that shit. Again, I do not believe half of Tom McDonald's fans want to own slaves. It's such a low-hanging piece of shit. For no, that's, you know what, yeah, Matt? It's ridiculous. How about this? Let's put the gloves on and fight, and we'll, we'll put it on camera. No, no, no. He's more my size. I got this one. Mac, let's fucking put on the gloves and fight. Because I'm, I'm a Tom fan, see? I'm a Tom fan. So that means you think that, I mean, am I one of the half that wants to own slaves? I, you know, I have Snook that's on my channel with us normally, right? He's a black guy. Do you think he would take kindly to you saying that about us? Because he's a Tom fan. What's that say about you? What's that say about you? So if you want to fucking put something on YouTube, let's do it. Let's put on the gloves, you and I, and let's throw hands. Let's see if you can if you can beat uh, freaking Tom's giant ass. You could easily take me, right? And, let's do but, it. But I'm ready. It's like the issue I have with those attacks are you're not a, so basically you're saying we're not allowed to have a, an opinion. So if we have yeah. an opinion that doesn't agree with the woke left, does that mean automatically mean we're racist bigots who want to own slaves? That's that does it to the woke left. Yes. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. I agree with you. It's fucking ridiculously stupid. It just shows the small minds of these people. I'm just saying, okay? Now, look, the other thing that pisses me off about that line is now you're going to attack Tom fans when I've clearly said that I am a Tom fan. I also said I was a fan of you. So now you're kind of making me want to smack you a little bit. Like, now I'm, I really do kind of want to... And, I, and I'm not the guy to sit here and say fighting because I actually can. I, I don't normally do this. You know what I mean? But yeah, you want to throw hands? I'm all for it, son. What you gonna do? Like you don't don't be coming at us, bro. Me. You know what? Not even boxing gloves. MMA. Sorry, MMA. Yeah, I'm, dude. I'll just I'll go bare knuckle box. Let's do Mike Perry style, son. Bring the pain. At the same time, because we we Bill and I 
know how to not get our butts hurt and at, at the same time and, and agree with something, that th- this is good. I disagree with all that bullshit he said about us as as fans. Mac, you're Mac, you're a piece of shit for saying that. However, it was pretty good. So you don't get a full clap. Yes. You get two finger clap. Leave the Hog family alone. If you keep talking about the Hog family, I'm going to have to jump through the computer and find you and, uh, you know, have some coffee with you and maybe, I don't know. Shut up, Greg. I don't know what I'm going to do. Call you an anti-woke rapper because your music puts everybody to sleep. Fuck everything that your lame ass do. If Dave Matthews had braids and a face tattoo and made a song called If I Was a Gay Black Jew, we would all be like, hey, that's you. <laughs> Acting like you represent the blue collar working man, rocking oh. army boots when you live in Woodland Hills and wear $5,000 Versace suits. You'll never fuck with Mac. Look at this blonde bitch surrounded by shirtless African-American actors. What you about to get gang banged in an episode of Black? <laughs> your fans cheer when planes fly over Gaza dropping bombs. I'm a 52 year old soccer mom. I hate rap, but you're awesome, Tom. You're a fake fraud, poser, liar, charlatan, and grifter at heart. You have no fucking dignity. You'll do anything just to get on the charts. Bitch, I'm a star. Kicking these bars. Burning his body. I'll rip it apart. Tom, did you call yourself the white version of Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> Talking like you kicked down doors. What? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Later. I don't know. I don't see nothing about it, but All right. who cares if he did? Let's just I hope, let's hear. No. Let's well, get. No, that's that's a big thing, dude. He can't say that shit. Come on, man. I mean, I like Tom and all, but the the white Kendrick. Please, just I'm sorry. I had to. Whatever. Indignity. You'll do anything just to get on the charts. Bitch, I'm a star. Kicking these bars, burning his body, I'll rip it apart. Tom. Did you call yourself the white version of Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> Talking like you kicked down doors for the oh, indie that was movement, bitch. You that was his that post. Hold on, hold on. Finally, rapper saying something that matters. Is this guy fire or trash? The white Kendrick Lamar. If you don't cry, you savage. Did he he post it? It, it appears so. Uh, Tom, what, okay. what did you call yourself the white version of Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> Talking like you kicked down doors for the indie movement, bitch. You stole that same blueprint from rhyme sayers and strange music. I paved your road, real indie since 01. Now I'm Marvin Gaye's father. I'm killing my own son. <laughs> Mom. Nova, daddy, here, Nova, daddy, come here, girl, sit. Aw, oh, good girl, here's a treat. Daddy, here's the truth that you can't run from. No can do told me when I'm fighting monsters, don't let it make you become one. Your ego's too big, it's gotta be deflated. Trying to say political rap is a genre you created? You gotta be fucking kidding me. You ever heard of Ice-T, Ice Cube, Immortal Technique, X-Clan, or Public Enemy? Of course you haven't. You know nothing about the culture. Second Amendment, right guns coming up out the holster. Put the pistol in your mouth. Name one song off of Illmatic before I pull the trigger. A car. You wanna be American so bad that you won't even rep your own flag and now you're getting toe tagged on every single song you use that same dead flow your girls like emily willis a brain dead hoe i should have known that you're a damn snake the type of person that'll look right in a man's face and offer him a handshake call a truce declare peace on the landscape then diss his family life just to entertain your fan base on god mode trying to rap like jesus but in real life you act like judas with pussy cat like movements i feel like caesar getting stabbed by brutus but i got whiplash so drums make me smack my students the YouTube diss tracks, they really ain't my vibe <laughs> Did you see what popped up at the bottom of the screen? No, I, I was, wasn't looking <laughs> <laughs> He said something that I'd like um, If you go back and watch the reaction Right when that part happens I, I was like, I make a face like What the fuck did he just say? At the bottom of the screen it says Knox Hill will explain this uh, Oh, okay <laughs> Um because he's like, he is the best bar breakdown. I'm sorry, dude. I try to be good, but I ain't Knox. Yo, I, I ain't mean, Knox. The Nova thing. Though. There's a lot of bullshit. There's a, yeah, I, I can't. It's I like, can't. all right, I so can't. he's doing well. Like, sometimes he's doing good, but I got to take him a few notches down for the whole, the personal bars. Yeah. I mean, what exactly, unless Nova did something to him, I, I'm, I'm missing I, it. I was literally thinking that. Like, did she did she have a track or did she say something? I'm, I'm or, missing it. What are you know. going at the girl for? Let us know. Comments, What are you going at the girl for? This yeah, is why I, I, I want to... I want to smack your face. 
I want to smack but your if- face. If she did, she needs to respond to this. Because that's the sound it makes as when you as smack. As bada bada that's what happens when the Italian people smack people. I'm just saying. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bee, da boo. Rabbit a boopy. Get calls, huh? Is it just because she's his Tom's girl, or was she a part of the whole thing? If piece? it's just because Let it's Tom's the comments, girl, it's bullshit. And then I don't give a fuck. Yeah. If she said said something before, then you know this is. Right. I don't That's care what, what you do. mad lethal fanboys. If you jump in here, I don't give a fuck if you care about what I say. I'm saying it's bullshit if he's talking about Nova and all that personal shit. He's doing a good job. I do have a question though. Did they really say he invented political rap? Tom said it in God mode. He said he's the one who started that genre. Yeah. Um, I remember we said the only other political rap I could think of was Rage Against the Machine, but. He was right, you know. Public Enemy, absolutely. You know, Ice T, absolutely. Ice Cube, absolutely. I see where Max got a point, I, mm-hmm. but I can see how it could be maybe two different genres because it's just so far on. It's just two different things. I don't know. I, I, they are I have different. To think they are about different. It. It's hard. This is what happens when you react to something. You just don't know. You're like, oh, wait a second. And then two, two hours after filming, I'm like, now I now I know what to say. This is right off the top of the dome. Yeah. This is like, you know, freestyle yeah. react. I don't know. Right. I got to shut up. Let's hear more. <laughs> Entertain your fan base on God mode, trying to rap like Jesus. But in real life, you act like Judas with pussy cat like movements. I feel like Caesar getting stabbed by Brutus. But I was, got whiplash, so drums make me smack my students. The YouTube diss tracks, they really ain't my vibe. When I battle a rapper shit, I'd rather do it live. I'll bet 50,000 bucks to the charity of your choice that you won't look me in the eyes and put clarity in your voice and say the things about me that you said in all your diss tracks. When I'm a foot away from you and you might just get bitch slapped. Shit, we could battle on King of the Dot. Your girl knows all those dudes She's seen all their cocks We could battle up in Canada Right in your hometown I'll let you pick the city and venue It goes down And I promise I'll get a bigger applause than you Because in hip-hop There ain't a bigger fraud than you I went on tour with D12 Those dudes are my new friends They showed me some video you made for Eminem They told me they were in the studio with Slim When he watched it he cringed And he cut it off 30 seconds in Eminem doesn't like you He does not respect you You made a love song about him Begging him to peg you Have you noticed That publicly He's never even mentioned it I'm sorry buddy I know that's not How you envisioned it You thought he'd call you Like hey Tom It's Slim Shady You're so controversial How are you this crazy You wanna make a song About how transgender men Are pretend ladies And all the live ladies Having mixed babies And how the Mexican border Is being invaded By woke Palestinians Causing inflation We'll call it White Boys Part 12 It'll be awful And the Grammy goes To Eminem And Tom McDonald I'm sorry that you didn't get to do a song with your hero none of that what he said all right now he's starting to get he's starting to he's starting to fall oh, off for me none of that what he, you made it too long mac you should have cut it off earlier you were doing none good. of what he said is what tom raps about he raps about the transgender no. stuff but again you know you're not allowed to have an opinion on it you just gotta it, it's you know, I I don't know. I, I think he lost me there. Yeah. And then the whole... Well, you guys know how of we... Of course. That, yeah, that was... I don't know when Tom sent this Eminem. Let's assume it's true, the Eminem thing. No, he wrote... He has a song called Dear Slim, and he bought... He paid like... I think it's like 500 grand for an Eminem beat. And he made a song. All right, so... He did. Okay, that's fine. And he turned it off. He wasn't he wasn't begging Eminem, Eminem to peg him. I can promise you that. Pegging isn't new for me, friendo. But it is for Disney. But... That was kind of funny. Well, you know, I think, I think now, obviously, M and Tom wouldn't get along. M and M like hate. No, M hates. They're opposites. M hates like conservatives. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, that's. I don't. I don't see that ever happening. That and is, who cares? I mean, he, held, it's not everybody has. I don't give a shit. I don't. Whatever. I, yeah. you, you're into what you're into, I guess. But again. Yeah, uh, I don't think Tom really. I'm an Eminem fan. You know that shit. Yeah, I don't think anybody uh, on this channel knows that. Yeah, if he would have cut it a little shorter than it is, he might have done better. It's we're already five forty six in. We still. And how many five, times five, is he going to talk five, about five, Nova? Sees a lot of penises. Like uh, I, do, I, yeah, that's, I, I mean, I just. I now, now here's my only question. Again, I'm not trying to be a dick here, but is any of that true? Was she like smutting it? Like that picture showing her Russell Simmons shit or whatever? Did she used to work for? Him? 
Did she work under him? Did was she around him? Did any is any of this shit true, or is Mac just talking out of his ass? Even if he did at this point, I don't know. Even if he did at this point, you know, I'm running out of toes and fingers. Just count how many times you can talk about it. He's talking more about nobody than yeah, Tom. Agree. Stop going at the ladies, that you fucking pussy. Seems that way. Yeah, that's. Listen, seems that don't way. even make a rap yeah. about me, okay? Not that he would, he never would. But if he did, I I, I can't rap. And you're a bully. Yeah, no. I'll just. Yeah, Greg will write a guitar solo back at you. Yes. White Boys Part 12, it'll be awful. And the Grammy goes to Eminem and Tom McDonald. I'm sorry that you didn't get to do a song with your hero. At least you got to do a song with Ben Shapiro. The dude that censored Candace Owens' views quick. And he said that rap music isn't real music. And he tried to say the pussies aren't supposed to get wet. That song was so controversial and over the edge. I'm kidding. Nobody cares about your facts and your feelings. You make music for people that storm the Capitol building. You make rap. Now he's getting on my nerves. Ugh. I like that fucking uh, song with Tom and fucking Ben. I thought that was That's awesome. That's what made it good. The fact that you took a nerdy, yeah. political, like, top, Ben Shapiro is a nerd, and he put him on a rap song. Totally. And whether Ben Shapiro likes rap or not, or Ben Shapiro doesn't know how a vagina works, I don't really give a shit. Um, for for the either. record. I will say this, though. I For the record. I will stand with Mac on the one thing. I, I do think uh, the whole Ben Shapiro thing with Candace Owen was a douchey move. For the record, vaginas are supposed to get wet. They are. They, de they definitely are. Unless, Ben, your voice instantly dries them up, and you're just used to it. <laughs> To get wet, that song was so controversial and over the edge. I'm kidding. Nobody cares about your facts or your feelings. You make music for people that storm the Capitol Let's building. You make Shut rap up. tunes for white trash inbred people that snort crank in dirty ass gas station bathrooms. People that shoot AR 15s in classrooms that never heard of Nas Del Wu or Black Moon. You make music for people that hate black dudes. People that huff gas fumes, got barbed wire tattoos. People that say. Can we just... I'm going to go... We, how do, can we move on I, I, with this? I, I want people to really go comment to Mac about this uh, glorified sparring session with Billy whatever. Oh, God. Because this shit's getting on my nerves now. Like... Yeah, I'm not even rewinding it. Fuck that. People that say the N word while playing Call of Duty. People that buy a case of Bud Light just to shoot it. Incels that are terrified of sex. And people that pay money to be verified on X. People that say, now normally I don't like rap. But this Tom McDonald dude is great because he ain't black. I rewrote this disc three times. Kept throwing out the verses. Punch lines weren't cut and it needed substance and some purpose. I realized I needed to try to cut beyond the surface. And instead of murdering you, maybe I could be of service. You constantly just brag about the ways you feel yourself it's obvious you're losing your battle with mental health tried to fill the emptiness in your soul by getting wealth but the money fame louis and gucci it didn't help you need to go to balenciaga and get a belt put it around your neck kick out the stool then kill yourself you need to put a gun to your head then drill yourself because to yourself you've never revealed yourself i swear to god i know record label execs that managed you represented you brought you a couple checks they told me all sorts of shit about you how you like to be continued, Maybe huh? Your best course. To be we'll continued. Be what the fuck else is he gonna All right, do? So anybody could say they talked to anybody and they said anything. That's number one. Let's just it's correct. There. Um, and and being a not, listen, I am a fan of Tom McDonald. We've said that a million times already. I don't need to say that again. Um, but he did well, he, he did well, like halfway through, even though I didn't agree with everything he said, about halfway. and then he just goes too hard, and the same, same thing about Nova, he went in on the fans and Nova too much, I agree. And, and as a rebuttal to what he's saying, Tom, Tom McDonald is, look, so many rappers do similar things, right, so... You know how, how for you know it, depending on what generation you're talking about. I know I'm not a rap head, and I'm pretending like I know. You could kind of back me up. It's fine. A lot of it can be the same, just like any genre of music, right? Sure. Tom McDonald sure. is a little different. He stood out. It's like kind of like the you know like peacocking, I guess you would call it, right? And that's what the, the music industry is. And the way he raps about political rap about things that people want to say but don't want to say it's a little different mm -hmm. and it ain't because 
fan people aren't fans of him because they hate black people or they hate gay people. No, or they, it's just why would Snook like Tom? It's just crazy. I, you're not allowed to argue for no any sense. sort of conservative values whatsoever without being. No. Now, having said that, Tom McDonald has said things that I vehemently disagree with because I've said this in the past. I think if you agree, sure. if you, I don't agree with everything. If you agree with everything somebody says. That's weird. That's what po- that's what I people agree. who follow politics. People but are I like, I don't agree with everything you say. I'm Greg. a Democrat. I'm a Biden supporter. Anything that comes out of Biden's mouth, I'm just going to agree with. Or anything that comes out of Trump's mouth, I'm going to agree with. It is weird, but people do that. How do you agree? How do you agree with Biden when he says... Right, he's feeding... This Mac Lethal guy is feeding to a low-hanging fruit stereotype. I, like I just did there? Like I just did there? Like, like, like I just did? What, with Biden? Low-hanging Biden fruit. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with... The uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with. Uh, look, he's got some low balls probably by now, but no. <laughs> knocking his knees. Yeah, how many times you can say the same thing? Nova's a whore. Your fans are racist. You, you put the, me to sleep. Here's, here's how it goes. You put me to sleep because you're anti woke. That was a good one. Though. That was that funny. Was okay, that was good. but look, here's the thing. My real thought on this is if he would have cut out the shit about Nova and the fans, unless Nova deserved it. I don't know. So let us know in the comments. But in my opinion right now, as it stands, if he would have cut out the shit about the fans and Nova and just stuck to Tom and made it like a three minute diss, he would have cooked. That shit was, he, he, he was hitting Tom with some fucking body shots, bro. He, there was some good, good fucking shots that he took at Tom, whether I agree with them or not. He fucking hit some hard punches in this one. It's worthy of Tom responding. It still no, it is. Isn't. Like, Nova, if anybody needs to respond. Nope, I don't think If it anybody, is. Nova. I think Tom doesn't, shouldn't respond. He probably won't. Leave him on He probably red. won't, to be honest. That's what he should do. I think he Nova should, should. He should take, like, this diss on, like, Twitter or the video. If it's on Twitter or X or whatever it's called. X, Y, Z, F, whatever the fuck. He should take this mm-hmm. video, share it, and put red on top of it and then not respond. <laughs> Boom! That would that would be pretty goddamn funny. I ain't gonna lie. So, what do you guys think? Do you think that uh, Tom should respond? Should he respond? Should he not respond? Should Nova respond? Because if anybody in this song, it seemed like she's the one. He called her by name plenty. I think she should come out with a diss track back at him, man. Because that girl can cook. Does food. anybody want to see Nova kick this Mac Lethal guy in the nuts? Also, comment. Kick him in the nuts. Kick him in the nuts. And again. Go spam Yo, him with that. I got bars like, of my like, own. Nova needs to rock a feller in the face. On that note. In breaking news, two bitch ass rappers finally put on the gloves and fight each other instead of saying words that do not hurt anybody for real. 